And speaking of escaping from countries, <laughs> it's Canada. They, they finally have made it a little easier for people to leave after two years. <laughs> and uh, people are just rushing to get out now. And, you know, I think they only have a couple months because I just saw this. The government of Canada will reinstate quarantine hotels. One hotel in Montreal has canceled all reservations from October to March as the entire, entire hotel was requisitioned by the feds. You can't make this shit up. So yeah, they're probably getting ready for the quarantines, which uh, they decided are three weeks. <laughs> Not two weeks, it was two weeks for the COVIDs. Now it's three weeks. They've already got the well camp in Australia. I love the uh, Orwellian names of everything. They already know there's gonna be an outbreak this winter. You know, the first time someone has the sniffles in October, it's gonna be lock everything down again. So people in Canada, and this has been going on for a while, are like rushing now that they, they're, they're owners. There goes Lizzie and Lucky after a cat. Luckily the cat's faster because the cat's also way bigger. Lizzie, Lucky. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the, uh, What was I talking about? Canada? <laughs> Every time I see Lucy and Lucky, I, I just totally lose my train of thought, but uh, how they're locking it down. And there's been so many, it's been almost impossible for a lot of people to get passports, which you shouldn't even really need. Uh, it's ba I've called it a slave card since day one. It's like, well, you wanna leave the, the, the tax plantation? Yes, master. Well, you're gonna need to get all your documents, and that's a passport. It's all part of globalist control, but it's pretty crazy. Like this was on the uh, Canadian Brainwashing Corporation. Passport delays spur some Canadians to game the system with fake travel plans. Canadians are getting creative trying to cut off the long waits for passports that have been dragging on for close to five months after a surge in post-pandemic travel demand overwhelmed the system. By August 11th, a total of 1 million passport applications have been filed, with more than 500,000 of those applications flooding in since April. Service Canada said it's prioritizing the applications of people traveling imminently. Despite all this, applicants say they are spending thousands of dollars to travel to less busy slave card offices, or even faking travel plans to speed the process to beat the 340,000 application backlog. But there's some good anarcho-capitalists out there. Meanwhile, in Toronto, a man who CBC agreed to call Robert said he has spent the past 59 days organizing 10 staffers to hold spots in lineups for about 500 absent passport applicants. He said he has earned up to $1,000 per day offering this service. And they're actually advertising for it. Like, here's an ad for one. Line Stander. Service Canada. It's, it's like a... It's a booming business in Canada to stand in all the government lines for people to get their slave card so that it can get out before they lock it down again in just a couple months in October. <laughs> oh, it's too funny. And some of the uh, stories on that article are so Canadian in terms of it's such a communist, socialist. Most people are just so poor because they get almost all their money stolen from them, but then they get brainwashed and they're like, well, at least I'm lucky to live in one of the best countries on earth where we get free medical care. <laughs> well, it's not free and uh, it's horrible and heinous and you'll end up sitting in a line for like hours or days. And if you wanna see a specialist in Canada for almost anything, it's like six months at least, even if you're gonna die, like imminently. <laughs> but this this story is so, Sadly, Canadian, unfortunately. The Ivans family of Terrace, BC, saved for four years for a trip to Mexico. They're supposed to leave on August 27th, but they need two passport renewals that were applied for on April 4th. Pictured here are the family. Yeah, it's tough to save up for a, just a simple trip to Mexico when you <laughs> have most of your money stolen and all the regulations make the economy horrible. And this family apparently is like, we got to get out of here at least. Go to a, like a free country for a couple days. But they still can't. <laughs> uh.